Hey guys, this is Xenomics, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can record your own frags on Counter-Strike Source using only a config, nothing else. So let's start. Firstly, you'd have to download the movie config, which I have on the video description. Then you'd have to put it on your C-Strike CFG folder, right here. And obviously it's called Xenomovie. If you'd like to see exactly how to get to your CFG folder, you'd have to go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Xenomics, or your name and Counter Strike or C Strike and then CFG. Right, so next you'd launch CSS, preferably with a resolution of 1280 by 720. If you don't know how to change the resolution, you just go to options, then you go to video, then you'd preferably run it in a window, 1280 by 720, widescreen 169. Next, you'd have to open your console. Now you need to go to options, keyboard, advanced enable developer console then you would push the button which is right next to number one on your keyboard then you would type exec xeno movie and then I press enter now it comes with the menu so secondly you'd like to open up the demo that you have there's two ways you can do this either you can type play demo and then from the list choose what demo you want or you can click F8 or you can just click shift, hold shift and t click F2 and you've got it. Then you'd go to load and then you would choose what demo you want. Say for example I wanted to use Morton's no scope and it says gap. So it says here that the ticker rate is 214,000 so if I double click it and I'll wait for it to open. After it's loaded up I'll go to options here and go to close. Then I would type 214500 then I would pause the video, then I'd go to go to, and then I'd close the demo playback menu. Then I would have to press spacebar, so I'm on FPS mode, first person. Then I would go to Morton, who's the person who did the frag, and that's him. Then from the bind of the CFG, I would click 4, and that removes everything, leaving the crosshair and the death notices. Then I would go to shift F2, and I can resume the video. But before doing so, I'll have to make sure that the host frame rate is high, because if it's not high, you'll get low FPS and your videos won't look professional. So there's two ways you can do this. Either you can stick with the binds, where clicking the arrow up would make the host frame rate 240, or you can manually put your own frame rates. So I can just decide to put 500. Then I press enter. Then I press escape to get rid of the console and the menu. Then I would go to Shift F2, which I preferably find the fastest way. You can either use F8 if you want. Then I click Resume. As you can see, the video is playing very slowly, but that's good because then it gives you more freedom when editing. Right, so he's uh, getting closer to his kill. Notice that the quality of the you know Dust 2 is actually put at max because that's what the config does. So he's, he's getting near to the frag and then I'd go to F10 and it asks me what type of video compression do I want. I'd just leave it at full frames, then I'd go to OK. Now it'll start being jittery and whatever sound it's on, it'll start lagging kind of the sound. So as you can see, 500 frame rate is ridiculously high, but for your movies it will be excellent. Now after he's finished with the shot, maybe you'd want to give it a few more seconds, but this is only a tutorial, you would push F12, and as you can see it's gone back to normal. So if I go to Shift F2, and I'd pause it, I'd minimize Counter Strike Source, then I would launch my CSS folder which I've got a shortcut to. Oh, and I can see it, it's right there. And it's called A. If you record another clip, it'll call it B. Then all you'd have to do is open it up in Sony Vegas, drop it in there, and that's it. That's 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 your Counter-Strike Source recording done with nothing else needed. Now some people may ask me how do you do kind of the how do you make somebody walk in the tunnels and you can see him from outside? Well it's really simple. All I do is I for example, I'm I'm still in the demo now, and I click spacebar, I'd do it again. Then I'd go to shift F2 and resume and I'd close it. 
as you can see I'm still on spectator mode so to remove all the HUD and absolutely everything click 6 and that, that's literally everything removed all I can see now is just a camera if I like this scene I'll just do the same and I'll push F10 now I'll go to OK maybe I can zoom into him I'm actually holding W now which is zooming into him then after I'm happy with it I'll just go to F12 and that's it, go to pause minimize as you can see it's there this is the way I've been doing my account strike source videos which you can see on my account I hope this tutorial was helpful if you've got any questions please feel free to put them in the comment or you can send me a personal message but hopefully you can check my channel for more videos reviews unboxings and tutorials see you later